Hello and welcome to Crop Science 6049. In our today's lesson, we are going to look at plant growth and development. By the end of the lesson, you must be able to describe the phases of plant cell growth, discuss plant growth and development. Now let's take a look at the phases of plant cell growth in meristems. The first phase is the phase of cell division or the meristemic phase or the formative phase. During this phase, a plant cell divides by mitosis and it occurs in the zone of cell division. Cell division occur in the meristemic regions of a plant. One daughter cell remains in the meristem while the other goes on to become a part of the permanent plant body. Next, we have got the phase of cell enlargement or the phase of cell elongation. It occurs in the zone of cell enlargement. The cell enlargement plays an important role in contributing to the size of the tissue and organs of plants. The daughter cells produced by division of meristemic cells increase in size mainly by synthesizing protoplasm, absorbing water, developing vacuoles, and adding new cell wall material to the stretched, thin elastic walls to make them slightly thicker and permanent. Cell enlargement may be linear or in all directions. Increase in the length of stems and roots is mainly brought about by elongation of cells. The pressure potential developed inside the cells stretches their thin cell walls. The next phase is the phase of cell differentiation and specialization or cell maturation. During this last phase, the enlarged cells eventually acquire a specific size and form according to their location and role following biochemical physiological and morphological changes, that is, the cells undergo specialization or transformation. Each cell becomes specialized for its own particular function according to its position in the organ with respect to other cells. As a result, various kinds of cells get differentiated. Differentiation is the process in which generalized cells specialize into the morphologically and physiologically different cells. These differentiated cells form different kinds of simple and complex tissues which perform different functions. The greatest change occurs in the procambial strands which differentiate into vascular bundles. Now let's take a look at plant growth. Plant growth is the irreversible permanent increase in the size of a plant or its parts or even an individual cell. In plants, different stages of plant growth include seed germination, development into seedling, and taking shape of an adult plant. Let's take a look at the characteristics of plant growth. Growth is measurable. Growth in plants is measured via different methods like increase in dry mass, increase in volume, increase in cell number, or increase in fresh weight. It is generally indeterminate that is, growth never ceases or stops. Plants possess the ability to grow throughout their lifetime. Let's take a look at the types of growth in plants. First of all, we've got primary growth. This is the first form of growth to occur in a plant. Primary growth extends the length of a plant both above and below the ground. It is the result of the activity of the apical and sometimes intercalary meristems. Monocotyledonous plants and herbaceous dicotyledons are built up only by primary growth. Now let's take a look at secondary growth. It is the growth that occurs after primary growth. The process of secondary growth is controlled by lateral meristems. As mentioned before, Lateral meristems include vascular cambium in woody plants and cork cambium. This is when the root and the shoot system of plants grow continuously from germination stage to the death or throughout the lifespan of the plant. 
Next we have limited growth or determinate growth. This is when leaves, fruits and flowers stop growing after attaining a certain size. Next we have vegetative growth. This is the earlier growth of a plant producing leaves, stem and branches without flowers. Next we have reproductive growth. This is when plants produce flowers which is the reproductive part of a plant. Now let's take a look at the plant growth curve. A plant growth curve is an S-shaped curve obtained when growth is plotted against time. It is also called a sigmoid curve. The curve mainly shows the four phases of growth which are, first of all we have got the leg phase. This is when growth is very slow. Next we have the log phase or the grand period of growth or the exponential phase. During this phase we have rapid growth of plant. Next we have the diminishing phase. And during the diminishing phase this is when growth slows down. And lastly we have the stationary or the steady phase. This is where growth finally stops. Now let's take a look at plant development. It is the term that includes a sequence of qualitative structural changes that a plant goes through its lifetime, from germination of seed to senescence. It is the progression from earlier to later stages in maturation, that is, a fertilized ovule develops into a mature crop. It is the process whereby tissues, organs and whole plants are produced. It involves growth morphogenesis that is the acquisition of human structure and differentiation. The development changes may be gradual or they may be abrupt. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, additions and subtractions, please write them in the comment section. If you feel you have benefited from this video, please click the like button.